గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ అందరికీ భోగి శుభాకాంక్షలు వెల్కమ్ టు మై లీగల్ క్లాసెస్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఎన్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇట్ కేమ్ యాజ్ అ న్యూస్ ఐటమ్ ఇన్ ద హిందూ ఐ థింక్ ఎస్ టుడే this topic is relating to the disqualifications of the representatives elected representatives particularly mlas and mps friends we all know in the very celebrated case of lily thomas versus india 2013 and also lok prahari versus india india and also on the uh, public interest litigation filed by అశ్విని కుమార్ ఉపాధ్యాయ్ బిజెపి ఎంపీ సుప్రీం కోర్ట్ క్లియర్లీ స్టేటెడ్ దట్ ఇఫ్ ఎనీ ఎలెక్టెడ్ రిప్రజెంటేటివ్ ఈజ్ కన్విక్టెడ్ ఇన్ అ కేస్ ఫర్ మోర్ దాన్ టూ ఇయర్స్ ఈ విల్ బి డిస్క్వాలిఫైడ్ ఫర్ ద నెక్స్ట్ టైమ్ దట్ ఫర్ సిక్స్ ఇయర్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ ది డెసిషన్ గివెన్ ఇన్ లిలీ థామస్ అండ్ ఎక్స్పైనేటింగ్ ద ట్రయల్ అగెన్స్ట్ ది ఎలెక్టెడ్ బై పబ్లిక్ రిప్రజెంటేటివ్స్ it is in ashwini kumar upachaya's petition so all these things you know one such incident happened in lakshadweep lakshadweep is a union territory attached to kerala state there will be one mp he is mr mohammad faizal mohammad faizal he is the mp of lakshadweep during the year 2009 a case was booked against him and others under an attempt to commit murder that means 307 ipc of course other sections are there this section is more important a case was registered against him and others for an attempt to commit murder under 307 ipc for attacking mohammad sali mohammad s a l i h sali of uh, same lakshadweep of congress party uh, who contested who also contested as the rival so this uh, faisal mohammad faisal he contested on behalf of nationalist congress party whereas mohammad sali he contested uh, on behalf of the congress party in the lok sabha elections uh, which were conducted in the year 2009 now we are in 2022 of course the case was registered the charges filed ultimately the judgment was delivered on uh, i think 11 1 2023 so in this connection this man was convicted for 10 years oh my god he was convicted sentenced to 10 years finish so if it is you know already in the beginning i told if it is more than 2 years certainly he will lose his uh, membership likewise immediately so oh, of course since he belongs to that uh, political definitely it will be there immediately the lok sabha secretariat they have given a circular that this man ceased to be mp of the particular area from 11 1 2023 when the judgment has come of course previously according to section 8 clause 4 of the representation of the people act i think uh, there was a provision for them to go in appeal for 3 months and uh, he will be continued uh, Uh, till the disposal of the appeal but now the situation has changed with the uh, lily thomas case so section 8 class 4 is held to be unconstitutional now better to know the constitutional provision also regarding the disqualification article 102 if i am correct article 102 one minute let me see it yeah article 102 uh, class 1 sub class e of the constitution of india is it deals with uh, disqualification so disqualification so if he is not citizen of india it, so here the point is uh, clause e is important that's why i mentioned clause e clause e means if he is convicted in any case so if he is convicted in any case and the sentence is more than 2 years this is more important if the sentence is more for the next elections he cannot contest disqualified then he has to do all second So of course, there is a political ramification will be there, they say at least one thing that these people are doing. 
and this uh, nationalist congress party says that uh, even the judgment copy was not updated but still the lok sabha secretariat because they are in the opposition they are in a hasty mood they have uh, suspended our man they have said that uh, our man seized to him we all these things are bad but anyway what you have to learn from this case is you must remember you have to remember these important case was lily thomas versus union of india lok prahari versus union of india and ashwini kumar upadhyay versus union of india and this particular case where the man is sentenced to 10 years so you have to know that if any political representative any elected representative particularly mps and mlas if they are convicted for more than 2 years definitely they will lose their qualification they will be disqualified so same thing the first case is lalu prasad yadav may be remembering he was convicted when he lost his post so likewise it happens so better the representatives of the public you must be very very careful that's why the special courts have been established to dispose the cases against the public representatives so with this i am concluding thank you very much